Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems like it. Alright. Just want to tidy up this uh, blueprint a little bit. Make a proper copy of it. And we'll do a quick upload and then get back to uh, what we were doing. in the main game. So it looks like we've lost all the planetary... planetary? planetary... Uh, targets for all of these. Which is actually what we want. For the moment I'll just set all of these up as if we're sending the materials for uh, media defense installation ammo, as well as the delivery cannon capsules. Uh, I think we need to update this bit as well. Wait, is the train station name... All the train station names are wrong. Rip. Alright. If I copy this here, all of these should be correct now. And then we just need to set the name of these train stations. Strictly speaking, we don't need to do that. Iron, copper, steel, stone brick. Uh, explosives, heat shielding, LDS, and barrels. And it is a requester station. Those should be correct now. And we've suddenly got LTN trying to deliver here. That's fine, I suppose. And bonus points if I can Figure out a way to neatly convert it so that it'll do coal and uranium as well. Niron Wolf, thank you very much for the host. Much appreciated. Um, so obviously on the side ones we can easily fit another delivery cannon or two. Question is... whether we can also get uh, one more resource here. I don't really think we can without using the bots. This is what I wanted to blueprint um, to begin with. I think I did save a version of this somewhere. Oh, let's update that properly, um, but first don't forget to update these station names. Double check they've all got the red wires as well. Sometimes copy pasting these we lose that connection. Seems good. Alright, select new contents. And that should be it. We didn't accidentally get that uh, Super Robo port. Modules and train stop names. 
I think we'll keep it like that. And something I was considering. Maybe I could do a separate rail block instead. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to start with this as a template. Probably the size and shape of where the cannons are going to go can stay the same. Um, but how to design a train stop that can drop off nine items? I think we're probably going to have to... Uh, settle for bots for that one. Not sure. Anyway, that'll just about do it for now for the uh, super editor. Let's jump back into the game with our nice tidy blueprint. Which, most importantly, doesn't have any weird settings for the, uh, cannons. And away we go. Back to the Vulcanite build. Uh, let's see, how many inputs do we have here? One, two, three, four. That's going to be very straightforward. Uh, in fact, these line up perfectly. Nice. Don't know why that one's missing an inserter. Probably put these a little closer together. And some undergrounds just to save belts. Well, that's convenient. What if I do it like this? That uh, doesn't line up as well as I would like. Should probably just do undergrounds and put the... Uh... That would actually skip the entire thing. Okay, fine. This goes here. Middle. Actually, can we make it symmetrical? I think I could just about live with that. And away with you. this across and over here undergrounds until we reach our destination and I guess we'll do the same thing here that doesn't quite right. There we go. And on this side as well. Ground scooper. Okay. Let's make 
sure the belts get placed. Should probably just pick some more up myself. Grab the train. And crowns and belts. Okay. There's only one resource going in here, and that is Vulcanite. Nice and easy. Vulcanite. And add some substations. Preferably lining up with this. That's a neat fit. And can we do the same thing over here? Yes, good. Why are you hovering? There we go. And I don't think I can handcraft enough steam engines here. I don't suppose there's a little bit of iron I could steal from nearby. Doesn't look like it. Uh, no. Well, I could go all the way over here, I suppose. Almost worth going back to base instead. But all of the prerequisites are actually in this block. So what do we need? Seven? Six steam engines. Cog, small electric, and iron plate. Small electric. Cool. And don't forget to add these standard. Drop off. Uh, name the stations. Vulcanite. Requester. And connect the wires. Those are already connected. And this goes here. Red wire goes here, and we should have some Vulcanite trains coming in just a moment, I think. Vulcanite core fragment. Wait, what? That's not what I was looking for. Vulcanite core fragment. How much Vulcanite do we have here? Only 3.3 thousand. That's a lot less than I was expecting. Uh, currently we have... 10k Vulcanite core fragments. That might actually take a moment. Did we finally get the Vulcanite blocks delivered? Uh, was it here? Nope. What is taking so long? I did bump the priority up on those, right? And this time I remembered it with the actual request priority. 100. We're just waiting on 16k blocks to be at one of these stations, I think. 
this is a 13k and this is 16k fantastic there should be a train coming to pick this up in just a moment any second now that should turn yellow yep there we go and destination finally okay what happened to my steam engines that i was handcrafting oh they're here my robot pod's not on That would probably help. And then... Don't forget these. We also need some output for these belts. Let's add a splitter here. Seems like a bit much doing undergrounds just for that. Wait, what? Oh, those are not the same distance apart. Okay. Mm, that many splitters might be a little bit unnecessary. Especially from the top half. How many items per second are we looking at from these? 9.2 for this whole lot. Uh, let's drag this down until 23.1. So that's a little bit less than half a blue bell. So this could be the first spot that we've got a splitter, actually. The entire thing... 73. Yeah, that... I could be wrong, but I'm curious to find out. Is one splitter in the middle here enough? It should be. If it was just this half... That's not half. This is half. 16. 30... 36.96 per second. Uh, okay. That is a little bit more than half a belt. Now, I think it's at the point where we're producing 45 per second that we have to have a splitter. So that it starts to use both sides. And then the rest should be fine. I could be wrong about that. Hey, Valo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's line this up over here. And what about stone? Eight per second... 16 per second for the entire thing. Um, so I think we probably will end up using this lane over here. Needs to be a filter inserter. For the stone output. Uh, put all of those at the middle of the chemical plant. And just keep putting the undergrounds in the only place we can. Uh, if this entire thing is only 8 per second, we could probably have... the stone go up this way. Uh, 
like so. And then come over here. It'll all be on the same side of the belt, but that's okay. Even a yellow belt would almost keep up with that. And actually that has to be an underground as well. I can't exactly just copy paste mirror. Well, I can if I blueprint this and remove all of the pulverizers and chemical plants. Just got to make sure I line that up right. And that should be a stone output. And we can bring those together somewhere over here. It's going to be on that side of the belt. It's supposed to be like that. Alright. Finally, we've got our Vulcanite blocks. Let's go have a look at this build that we deferred for so long. We've already got our Katian... And exchange beads. And let's see if these all line up the way they're supposed to. Blacklist filter inserter is working as intended. Nice. It's all looking good so far. Oh, it's on both sides of this belt. Um, that's a problem. I guess we just add this over here. Hold on. Since we need to have a filter output for the washed culminate, I think... I think we just have to do it like this, this time. Yeah, that should do it. And I'll take some of those back, please. Even distribution. Can go in there, that's fine. Alright, what else do we need? Uh Holmite? Uh Hol Holmanite, rather. Have I not activated this station? I have. So where's our Holmanite? Did I not set up this one correctly? That's definitely Holmanite, and we've got 7.2 train loads of it. It's definitely connected to the LTN train stop input. Um, 55,000. Provide stack threshold 160. So, what's the problem here? Pulmonite, 16k. Uh, what does it stack to? 50. So I'm asking for two train loads. Request threshold. I don't know why this is 8k. But it should be enough anyway. Oh, because we're using fluids, I might. I didn't use the stack size for this one. 
So, yeah, what's the... What's the problem here? Request threshold 8,000. Asking for 16,000 Hormonite. Combinator is turned on. Train limit, minimum max train length. There's no Hormonite. Oh! There is Hormonite here. I'm blind. I just had to use alt mode. I forgot to reconnect this part. Brilliant. When something's broken in a complex system, it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Right, so that'll give us... Oh, we just need water. Wait, we've got water. Except... we're only using it for steam. Okay. Next question is, what is the neatest way to connect these pipes? Um, don't seem to have any pipes on me for some reason. Let's go pick up some more. We do have pipes here, right? Hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, construction spiders, can I steal some pipes, please? And that should do it. Alright, so let's continue. Where would be the best place? If not for how tight this part is, I would be thinking about putting the water pipes up here. Um, but I think... Probably like this. We can definitely connect these all along this side here. We could also connect those down there if we wanted to. Um, and the water pipe. Where's the best place for it? That's almost perfect. Could just do it like this, maybe? Tentatively. Alright, how do I want to connect these up? We're two tiles short of just connecting it directly. That. I like that best. Easily. And connect those like so. Alright, so these are going to the sides. Bar one is just going to be for consistency. And pipe goes here. And cross here. And I think that is it. Alright, let's find out. Oh, purple... Purple gas, that looks safe. Judging just by the motion of... Um, the machines, it's working pretty well. We should have a surplus of washed uh, Holmanite here. Stone and sand are being output down this way, and I haven't given them a place to go yet. That's fine. And just by the fact that the furnaces are on 
suggests to me that the entire build is working. Alright, cool. All we need now is uh, some train stop outputs. I could put some up here just because the outputs are so close. But I think we'll just stick with the usual locations for the train stops. Lol gamers, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Six months, it's hard to believe. Thank you. Let's add some signals. And over here as well. Wait, how many byproducts do we have here? Stone and sand. Since we've got so much space to spare, um, I think I would like to have uh, multiple train stops for those. And uh, Joera, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. I don't suppose there's... Let's see how neat I can be with these uh, train stops. One, two, three, four. That'll work. But I don't see why we wouldn't take a bit more space over here. I just want it far enough down that it's not going to have a have the locomotive at the other end all curvy. Alright, so we're gonna have you here and you here. You're welcome. I fall asleep to your stream most nights. Thank you. Uh, I'm very glad I can give you something of value. It's, uh, it's actually quite, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite flattering. Among other things. Alright, so... I don't remember deciding the final product would go on the same output as stone and sand, but let's check the rate for all of them. 5.3 plus 4.9 plus 16, uh, 21. It's way under one blue belt, so yeah, that should be fine. As long as we don't run out of space for any given resource. So I think the way we'll do this is Holmium ingots go this way. If I move this back one t uh, pair of tiles, the train's still not going to be all curved at the end, right? And how many outputs do we have here? One, two, three, four. So we want this one to end up here if we can. Let's start with this one. Actually, what am I doing? The entire thing is going to be way less than one belt. So we can just do it like this. And then... Maybe sand goes here. And stone goes down here. And 
we just need to bring everything where it's supposed to go. It's kind of in an awkward spot, the way we're going to have to do this with belts. I think we could maybe keep this as one belt until we merge and split over here. And all of this is going to merge into the same spot as well. I've made it a little bit awkward with the space that I've got to work with. Um, do we even need a... I think we do need a proper merger, probably, for each of these. Can I move this all down a tile somehow? I don't think so. Um, surely there's room to make this work. If I can somehow move all this down a little bit. I guess that works. Sure, it's a little bit overkill for what belts are actually needed, but that's okay. Then final product goes down here in the usual spot. LTN, standard pickup. Ingot. Uh, provider. Don't have to worry about telling LTN a provider station is available too early. And the max rate is like 5, so fast inserters will be more than enough. Uh, where's my usual? I keep rebuilding these things when I know I've got a blueprint somewhere. Except I've got so many, and they're not that well organized. Maybe I put it under rail? It's faster if I just build it. One, two, three, and this goes here. Everything less than or equal to the average. Copy that across. Oops. H divided by negative 24. Gives us the negative average. And that's it. So then we just need our belt down here. 
And we're done. Substations seem like a good idea. I don't suppose there's any reason to have more signals here. Um, all right, I suppose it's time to test our belts. Seems to be working well. Is this going to line up? Oh, perfect. Except I think this looks a little bit tidier. And we need some balance loaders over here as well. And some subs. Don't suppose we can make this reach. Nice and neat. And that just leaves the train stuff names. Sand provider and stone provider. And I should set these as high priorities, because if this gets full... What's going on here? Oh, I see. If this gets full, as you can see, the whole thing will stop and we won't get any ingots. Uh, therefore... Uh, provider... Priority is a hundred. And tell LTN what we've got. And that should be it. Oh. Unfortunately, we're just barely not covering these. What's the problem now? All of these have... That's because I missed a wire. Oops. There we go. And down here as well. Now what's the problem? No, I think it's working, actually. Just need some of these to pick up some more before these get picked up. Don't forget to tell LTN what we've got down here as well. And that looks good. Uh, Roxo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello Hex, hello chat, what are you doing today? A more Bill, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, we're just finishing up the Holmanite build. Well, for uh, ingots, anyway. Um, with all this space down here, now that I think about it, uh, maybe I should have put some thought into... Making the plate first. Um, and what do we turn plate into? Oh, there it is. Almanite plate becomes all sorts of things. Looks like it's all done in space. 
We can make efficiency module fours down here. Except it requires machine learning data. Which I don't think we can make down here. So in order to in order to make the big modules with the maximum efficiency bonus, we need some stuff going to space and then back down here. Okay. Uh, that's in space, that's in space, that's in space. This can be made on the ground, and we definitely need some. Holmium cable. Plus, just add plastic. Uh, cable plus plate makes solenoid. That can also be made down here. Add batteries to it, it becomes Tesla gun ammo. And add a bunch of stuff to it to make a Tesla gun. Chain lightning. That's cool. Right, so... I don't think... Uh, I don't know if 40% of a rail block would have been a good amount of space. Well, actually... Considering our throughput... Our max throughput from here is just... 5.376... Uh, ingots per second. Let's see. Beacon. Speed. Productivities. 1.48 per second. We could have a single block of these. Um, keep up with the entire ingot production chain that we've got here. That's already, like... My mistake. That's 2.25. So, a bit more than two of these. Four point five. Do we use ingots for anything else? Uh, let's see. No, it literally just gets turned into plate. Well, if that's the case, and our throughput from here is that small, uh, I guess we'll get rid of this train station. Actually, I'll still. Put a train stop in the same spot. And we'll do some processing on the spot. Um, the next thing is... What is it called? How do we make that wire? Or do we need to research it first? Holmium cable. Just add plastic. And it looks like we haven't researched it yet. Okay. It also gives us an alternate recipe for processing units. Um, since all we have to do is add plastic. Oh, we've got plastic here already as well. Uh, I think I would like to... We're not going to need that much plastic, right? It's kind of hard to... How fast is this? One second. Um, and it's one plastic per recipe. We can get 22.5 plastic down. Okay. Okay. We're going to have more than 20 plastic per second coming in. And... A bit over 23 holmium plate. If we consume all of the ingots. I suppose I could grab this plastic as well. 
So we could definitely have room to turn all of the ingots into plates and all of the plates into uh, cable if we want to. Plastic plus holmium plate. And I think that's probably about it for what we'll do in this rail block. We could also make the solenoids here. Um, naturally, we haven't researched those yet. Considering how little we're going to need in terms of... Uh, I could probably move this train station up a little bit as well. Let's see. We could easily do two tiles with the substations in the same spot. We could do four if we move them. Like this. Not enough rail. Yeah, I think we'll move all of this up a little bit. So we definitely have a bit more room there. Gonna take a few button presses to accomplish that, but it's probably easier than picking up all the stone. I got negative COVID tests results. I'm feeling morally boosted today. Good day to relax and watch some more Factorio. Fantastic. Glad you dodged the Rona this time. Uh, speaking of the Rona, I'm actually about as energetic and able to think clearly as I've been in literally weeks. So that's promising. Very muchly so. No pun there. I think I missed the pun. Also, uh, fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And welcome, uh, Randy Anak. He said felt boosted. All oh, right. Um, you can't move LTN stops around, and even if you can move stations around, they're not going to go up and down. So that's going to go there. Why is... oh. That's not a spot that we can put these. Um, let's move all of this up a tile, shall we? Actually, if we make it look like this, it's going to look more consistent. Alright, one more time for each of these. Objects. Trying to find that sweet spot where I go as fast as I can with my mistakes. There we go. And obviously we'll have to move these. Plenty of room for the trains. Right, so there should be way more than enough um, area for processing Uh, processing this into wires. 
I suppose we could probably fit this vertically, but I don't see any reason to do that. Uh, these don't need to be that far apart, do they? Inserters. How fast is one of these? Quite slow. Let's just use some fast ones. As opposed to stacks. And I guess we could just put these right about here. That doesn't quite reach. Sad. substations let's get all these ingots out there's no ingot left on the belt good Drop them off here. Fantastic. We're definitely going to want some plate to be able to pick up direct to to be able to be picked up directly from the rail network. Um, once we've got uh, the ability to turn it into cable. We'll make a station over this side. In fact, I'll just name it right now. Chromium Cable uh, Provider. And this one is Chromium Plate. Uh, provider. So, is it just Holmy and Plate we're waiting on to be able to make Energy Science Pack 1? It's not Cable. I think we need the Energy Science Pack 1 to research the Cable. Yeah. So this part right here is all we're going to need to get energy science going. Fantastic. Why is... Is my robot bot off? Oh, I have no... Never mind. And then... Over here, please. Uh, what am I doing? Green wire. Let's get off the tracks. Green wire goes here. Substation goes here. And here. And if that's not enough to remind me what this is for, I'll just leave that there.
plastic and plastic. I don't really want extra vulcanite blocks that have to sit there until the end of time, but I don't like the asymmetry. It's a tough choice. Grab those falconite blocks. Okay. I guess for now, we'll just... This is probably going to be more than we need. Um, but I'll leave these here for when we need the cable. I was going to do long arms. Uh, I think it's one second for each, right? I don't, want, I don't know if I want to merge the plastic first or... Okay, max rate of this is less than half a belt, so yeah, that's the way to do it. Sure, that'll be more than we need. Right, how much plate have we got? Nearly 5,000 already. That's not as bad as I thought. And this whole setup can definitely support. Why is this stopped? What are we bottlenecking on over here? Oh. That would probably help. Just to confirm again, we're only looking at 5.3 holmium ingots per second. This can consume almost all of them. We could definitely fit it so that it can consume all of that if we want to. And we're looking at a little bit under half a belt for the total output. Not too bad for a start. We can always copy paste it if we want more. Hey, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Creakly, were you the person who wanted... Uh... The Holmium build, once it was done. Someone did. Well, there's, there's more unused space here than I would have liked, but that's probably fine. Also, I didn't really leave room for solenoids. I could probably still do solenoids. I can definitely do solenoids down here. Um, 
if we don't mind sharing a station between them. Or I could put a station here for solenoids as well. That would work just as easily. Yes? Nice. Uh, cool, so we've actually finished it insofar as we can without more research. So let's grab a blueprint for that, shall we? Uh, I'll just go hold me in plate. I think I named all the train stops. Me. How do you spell it? Hold me. Um, plate production. Why is there a crafting combinator blueprint setting in here? I haven't even placed a crafting combinator in this block. The rest should be fine for vanilla. Well, not vanilla, but space exploration. And let's drop it in here for now. Um, and I suppose we'll upload it. I'll just toss it into the Discord real quick first. That should do it. And... Oreo prints. Great blueprint. Uh, it needs a screenshot. On me, um, light. And for some reason it's taking six years to bring up the paint program. Let's try MS Paint. Why am I not getting a copy-paste from that? Print screen. There we go. Should do it. No tags. Uh, I don't know, honestly, how to tag this. Let's just do it with no tags. And that should be just about done. There we go. Okay. We still don't have any research happening. What's broken now? I thought I already confirmed... Now it's combustion. Not getting plasma stream. Not getting stone. Don't tell me. Stone is also not in... this network anymore. Seems like it's just going to be one thing after another until I... Uh, correct the record for this sushi belt. Where's the stone? There it is. And stone. 
is here. There's only one for stone. There we go. Alright. Time to wait and see if that's the last thing we have to fix for that. And... I'm kind of lost on what's next. Oh, Vulcanite. Well, we did finally get our Vulcanite delivered over here, but I would still like to fix this one up. Uh, seems like we've already got the inputs. And Vulcanite block output, stone output. I think all that was left here is to add a couple of train stops. Let's do that. And signals go here and here. Train stops in the middle. And this one's going to be Vulcanite block provider. And this one is stone. Okay. What's the max rate of Vulcanite blocks from all of this? 147.84. Let's just do four blue belts to make it simple. Uh, in fact, let me just copy this first. And we'll have the belts go like so. I guess that one could go from that side if I want to. This is fine. And from over here... Can I squeeze through that? No. Nope. Guess we'll do it this way. Should be fine. Uh, since we're getting close to four blue belts, I think we'll need some stack inserters to pick these up. Substation goes here. That's unfortunate. I guess we could do it this way. That's pretty neat. Is that going to line up the same over here as well? Not exactly, but actually, yes. Yes, it is. Nice. And stone goes here. Just to confirm again, maximum stone is only 16. One belt is more than enough. Right, and 
then we just need to add the usual stuff for LTN. Red wire. Names are already correct. That's connected. That's connected. I think we're done. Now, if only we could get some Vulcanite over here so that we could test this theory. We are not requesting Vulcanite. That's probably the problem. Vulcanite. What does it stack to? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is all empty. That's not helping anything. Uh, Vulcanite... 50. So, we'll ask for a couple of train loads. And... I think it's going to take a little while before we get a delivery. 5.9k, 2.7k, and this one's looking really sad for some reason. 545. We're still waiting on hitting 16k Vulcanite blocks over here. We're at 14. All right, fine. Uh, let's just... Temporarily drop the... Thresholds. Should see a train coming for this in just a moment. There we go. Put it back. To the correct settings. And I love how quickly the trains get there from the depot. And once that's loaded, we'll be able to see if our Vulcanite system is working. And away we go. Wait, where are you off to? Down here. I suppose we'll also get a sense of how long it takes to work through 14,000. Um, 216 core fragments per second. That's really quite quick. Of course, it'll take a little while to wind up, what with the belts and everything. We're also bottlenecking on 90 core fragments per second, because it's only one train stop. But that should definitely get us to 8,000 Vulcanite. Actually, if not for productivity modules, I don't think it would... All right then. Is there something else to do while we wait just a little while for the Vulcanite to arrive? We could discipline the biters, I suppose.
And what else? I think we've finished, assuming this is working properly. Uh, well, it would definitely need water to work properly, so that's something we can be working on for the moment. Let's copy this part. And since we're asking for fluid, we're going to change this from a request stack threshold to just a request threshold. One train load of vulcanite. And this goes here. And don't forget to ask for the water. And then... I was going to say we need to make sure we don't overfill the water here, but if we just ask for 100k, that should be all it takes, actually. I'm pretty sure. Right, so where's the neatest place to connect this water? I think it's here on the right. This is one tile off being a great fit. We could do it this way as well. I think I like this a little bit better. And just to check, the entire thing only needs 204 water per second. That yellow light is probably a water train coming. Yes, it is. Why is it stuck here? Because there's traffic. Is that the only reason? Oh, there's... There's a water train stuck here as well. It thinks it has no path. Probably because I missed... Getting rid of that... Uh chain signal. Cool. And it's already on its way. So, 100,000, 500 seconds, it's most of 10 minutes that uh, one train load of water should keep this thing going. So that's not going to be much of an issue. I think I connected the water to the wrong pipe. That's unfortunate. Uh, so this is the steam pipe, and the water pipe, it seems like the water goes up here, and I didn't copy-paste that properly in the past. Yeah, I didn't copy this bit. Alright. I don't suppose there's a neater way to do the water with this build? We could have those connect there. With the inserter sticking out this close, there's no way to have an underground going this way. We've got so much space to spare, I may as well just do it like this. Okay, that goes there, there, and then connect up 
here like so. I suppose a pump there couldn't hurt, maybe. It's not going to be powered, so I'm not going to bother with it. And... And we... Hmm. I think we'll have to change our undergrounds here a little bit. If we do it like this, is that going to work out or not? No, it's not. I'll have to move the inserters. Luckily this thing is so wide it shouldn't be difficult. Actually, that could be a problem. What if we do it like... That doesn't work either. Hmm. If only this reached one more tile, then we could make it work that way. I think we'll have to try and figure out a way to make this work in the middle. Oh. We could definitely do it like that. It's not the prettiest solution, but it'll do. Let's get rid of these. And I guess if we're going to be consistent, we could do it the same way on the other side. I should probably keep a deconstruction planner with pipes. Don't want to get rid of the wrong ones, though. That should do it. And underpants go. That tragically just doesn't quite reach. Do it like this. Deleted steam pipes also? Uh, uh oh. Thanks for pointing it out. Varynx. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, steam pipes. Oh, it was these ones, wasn't it? Good call. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Um, needs to go there as well. Right, that should do it. And we'll connect these over here. Get the construction spiders over here that 
almost definitely carrying some mob pipe. And uh, I guess we'll do this thing again. Blueprint. Remove the things that can't be flipped. Flip. And hope that's right. Pretty sure that's right. And then we just need to remove these extra bits of pipe. I think if I line it up exactly here, that should be all of them. Cool. And now we just need to place the rest of the pipe. And also connect it up to here. And then connect from this side to this side, probably. Also across here. Right. Let's bring this all the way up here. Is that symmetrical? I don't think so. It's almost symmetrical. Tragically close to symmetrical. Maybe this instead. Right. That looks like we got our water input, and we're still waiting on the vulcanite. Uh, how much have we got here now? 4.6k. That is surprisingly little, unless it was already taken somewhere else. Um, I could try setting this as a super high priority. That's another water train. Um, yeah, I think the Vulcanite got taken over here. I suppose I should probably decommission this old thing now. Especially for the purposes of testing the current one. Same goes with this. That would be one less bit of traffic um, in this old badly designed area as well. Alright, I guess we'll do this again. Uh, threshold one, threshold one, and it shouldn't be long before we get a train coming. Shouldn't be long at all, there it goes, fantastic. And there we go.
vulcanite on the way. It's going to load all of it. Or apparently a little bit less than all of it. Here he comes. And there we go. There's our steam. Seems like it's getting consumed. Vulcanite blocks are actually getting made rather quickly. And there's our stone as well. I should remember to set... As much as it's not going to be much... Um, we definitely want a high priority pickup for any of these side outputs that can eventually get in the way. I think there might have been a build somewhere back here. Is this it? Nope, I set those correctly. Okay, cool. A El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It seems the research is still stuck. No, I think it... I think we just caught it working. Yep, there we go. It's just taking a while to catch up. 36 biological insights before we can get... For, I think it's eight bioscience packs, once this recipe gets done once. Doing good, just relaxing before heading to a presentation. Nice. Very important. Oh, and it also takes another one biological insight. So really it's 37... Well, no, it's, um, it's 40. 10 per... It's 40 for 8 bioscience packs. Well, as much as this is still on 0%, it does seem to be working. It's just going to take a while to catch up. I think it's almost time to go back to the orbital base. Um, we got our infinite vulcanite, we got, oh, I don't think I finished setting up, um, fully automated luxury media defense ammo here. Uh, so... I believe I did set up Oh, that's going to a different planet. It's this one, isn't it? For Mario. These are all set up correctly. I think all that's left to make sure Mario is completely self-sufficient is to put sulfuric acid barrels in the rail network. So, where should we do that? It's obviously not going to be a very big build. Um, I don't really see myself sliding it into an existing oil build. And it's definitely nowhere near big enough to take up like a full rail block. So why don't we just put it somewhere like here? It's going to need one train station in to pick up steel and sulfuric acid. 
Um, actually, I think here will be fine. What are all these bots up to? What indeed? Oh no. Uh, I think we need to get rid of this old station. Yeah, I think it's putting everything in the logistic network in this uh, trash station. Away you go. Okay, that aside, I think we can now use this area. And we'll just do a bit of rail here. Why are my bots... Oh, these construction bots are bringing rail, aren't they? Yep. Uh, thanks, but that's a little bit slow. There we go. Right. So we need a train stop. The usual spot. Standard uh, drop off. We're going to need to use a flat number for the request threshold because fluids. Uh, that should be. Sulfuric acid. And... And stop here. One, two, three, four. Oops, go here. And then, don't forget that little bit of extra pipe. Steel goes here. Oh, let's make those filter inserters. I think we're going to need more than one belt. Read belt contents hold, read hand contents hold, enable disable everything equals zero. Paste flip. Let's have balanced unloader. There wouldn't be the neatest possible place to fit the substations, would there? It's fine, I guess. And then. Should be in the history still. Maybe. Nope, it's too far back. I can't believe I forgot where I saved the balanced load. Wait, I did make a book for balanced loaders, didn't I? Balanced unloader. Did I not? Or maybe it was a book within circuits? Or a book within... 
Rail. I, I have no idea where it is. Uh... How many of these would it take to eat 45 steel per second? It's 45 barrels per second. 45 times 50... would be 2.25k sulfuric acid per second. Seems a little excessive. How fast would this go at maximum speed? What? Unpowered beak? Oh. Uh, that's actually only 42 per second. Huh. How much is each one individually? 5.2. Alright, I guess that'll do. Except, then we need to fill the barrels. Acid, fill sulfuric acid barrel. Don't know what the layout's going to look like yet. That's only... oh, that's 210 per second. Wow, that's quick. What if we decide to be... a little bit more reasonable? We're actually going to have trouble keeping up with the stack inserter. 16. That's almost exact. Net one per second down. Six per second. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. All right. It goes here. Here and here. Do the belts in the middle instead. I feel like that makes more sense. So that's going to give us 32 barrels a second. I'm sure that will be sufficient.
a triple X poser. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Give to me some blue inserters, please. And stuck in septums. One, two, three, four, five, six. Red wire go here. Everything less than or equal to average. And then copy paste. Whoops. That should be it. Don't forget the combinator. Each divided by 24 chests, negative average, positive number for how much is in the local chest. Um, and this needs to be a pickup station. Sulfured as sulfured? Sulfuric. Acid barrel provider. And this is steel and sulfuric acid. Oh. Um. I'll have to wait for the train before I rename that station. Goes there. And there. And that should be that. Where's our train? Picking up steel as we speak. Circuitry should ensure that there are no inserters sticking out at the end. Perfect. So let's see, this one is already set up correctly. Don't forget some signals. Here comes our steel. Now's our chance. Steel and sulfuric acid requester. Fantastic. What mods do you use for your neat train automation? Uh, it's called LTN, as in Logistic Train Network. And it's a little complicated. You can definitely run into some problems with it. Um, I strongly recommend looking at the mod settings for LTN um, because there are settings which by default I would almost guarantee are going to cause you some problems, um, especially being unaware of them. But other than that, it is quite good. Hmm, if I'd moved all of this over one tile, that pipe could have just lined up naturally. It's fine. So, what's take- oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good thing I left that turned off, because... I kind of forgot the minor detail of telling LTN what we've already got here. Also, we need a pipe here. And that goes there. And then switch on. 
in a few seconds we should see this light go yellow and that tells us that a train is coming. There we go. And it is indeed sulfuric acid. Shouldn't be long before our sulfuric acid barrels are available. One job? Oh, one off. Yes, indeed. I mean, technically, it's not too late to move it, but... Would it really look that much better? Okay, fine. Piccadilly is to the rescue. Let's move these. And these. Oh, and it just got started. Fantastic. And I have to move this across as well. Well, I guess I... No, I did have to move that. Don't really have to move the substations, I suppose. Nice. Here's our sulfuric acid. Since they only stack to 10, uh, it'll take 1600 before a train's going to come pick them up. We're already almost halfway there. Rubashko? Welcome, welcome. Is it slowing down or is it my imagination? It's a little bit bursty because of the balance loader. Also, the sulfuric acid is coming in a bit slower than I would have thought. Oh, this... Wow. This actually requires 1.6k per second. Um, we're bottlenecked on the pipe. That's a little bit surprising. Let's connect this over here. And we should hopefully... Oh my goodness. What a difference that makes. We're now bottlenecked on the stack and soda outputting the um, sulfuric acid. To go faster, we need to double inserters. Okay. So that is... Look at that one go. And this poor thing is struggling. If we do it like this, I think we're going to get a more even distribution of fluids. I could put pumps on both sides. Or if I connect this over here instead, we should get more of a balance. Although, this one has to go further. So if anyone, if anything, this one will go faster now. Are these not connected? Did we just barely run out of pipe? Where did the pipe that I just made go? I think there's a bot trying to deliver it or something. Yep, there, there's the culprit.
Alright, that's pretty quick. I suppose it would make sense um, to have a couple of storage tanks next to these. It'll consume them when the time comes. But, more to the point, I think this is a decent throughput. Do you find SE grindy for no good reason? I'm choosing between either this one or Industrial Revolution. Um, it's definitely... There's a lot more to do in space exploration than vanilla, for example. Like, tens of times more to do, probably. Two K. There should be. Yep, there's a train on the way. Fantastic. And we should see. Uh, we should see sulfuric acid barrels sent to. Oh, this is probably randomly going to be going to a different station first. Unfortunate. So it's probably going to take a minute before we see sulfuric acid barrels going to Mariel. But it should be all working correctly already. So that we don't have to worry about meteors on this planet. Now the only question is... I think the answer is yes. I should probably add another core mining drill to this. Except to do that, I would have to go all the way back. What does it take to build one? A lot of concrete, electronic circuits, electric mining drills. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty annoying production chain. I would almost rather send a rocket. It's probably already enough to get Vulcanite to where we want it to be over time anyway. Let's do a resupply. And why don't we take a little break from building. Clear out some more territory with the spiders. I do eventually want to clear Nalvis of spiders. That should help with UPS a bit. Uh, speaking of which... There we go. Squeeze out a few more. Uh, let's see. I think doing it like this should be safe enough. Let's keep an eye on him at first. Hey, Mess. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think that's going to be totally fine. Probably. Getting a bit uncomfortably close to taking actual damage there. The first pass is probably the most dangerous.
This is fine. This is probably fine. It's a bit more safe than we need to. That's the wrong remote. Wait, where am I? Anything else I want to build while we're still on Narvis? I th think that's just about it for now, right? Um, I definitely want to set up... How many stations have we already used here? All of them. Except for this one. Um, okay. I definitely want to set up Holmium here. To go to orbit. Wait. That's going to stack to 100, right? I think that's already set up. Wait. There we go. Let's check on our military spiders real quick. Looking good. I guess I'll have them do a lap and come back around this way. Also, the early stuff before space is basically the same with a few changes. Yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily want to change too much, right? I do wish, uh, especially after being used to vanilla, they wouldn't keep like spider trons and flying robots at a de at decent flying robot speed uh, so far behind super complicated research normally you would expect to have spider trons after being so far into the game and it's actually far far longer before you get it compared to vanilla that is the robots feel so slow. Yeah, they really do. Like, we're kind of... Depending on your standards, we're kind of into mega-base territory. And we don't really have fast robots. And the, with the default settings at least, the lack of resources on Nalvis really uh, doesn't necessarily help anything. Just kind of slows the game down. How many rockets y'all got? Decent amount still. That should do it. And back to base. It's just to make you go to other planets to get materials. Yeah, but I'd really like to have things sorted on Nalvis. Uh, before having to think about that. 
like, I'd rather go to other planets to get different materials so much as to get more throughput. I may have added more zigzags than necessary here. I'm sure they'll get back safe. Um, okay, so this block works, that's good. Uh, I genuinely, genuinely can't think of anything else we should be doing before we go back to space. There's our Holmium rocket. Wait a sec. These two are unoccupied. No, they're not. Why is this one empty? This is... Beams. Wonder why we're completely empty on beams. We've got... 5.4k. Alright. I wonder if our flow of... Uh, what is it called? Iridium has stopped. Seems like it has. It's probably stuck on... Yep. Too much Iridium. Right, I think, uh, I think we'll go back to this planet and set up a simpler, a simpler system where we just send the core fragments back. I, I would probably rather go to space first though. Uh, I should take a whole lot of... Uh, cargo landing pads this time, and also space belt. Pause for life. Would you recommend changing BIDA settings? Uh, yeah, I think I would. I left them on default because I didn't know what it was going to be like, but with one exception, um... It's basically just been vanilla biters, which, to me, they're more of a nuisance than a challenge. It just makes you have to build walls, which can take a long time and stuff. Uh, the exception was, and I don't know where they came from, but we had giant space marine biters that tore through the walls effortlessly and did quite a lot of damage. So, I don't know what other surprises are in store. I think I also saw someone else playing Space Exploration a long time ago. And there were just giant biters everywhere on a certain planet. How many do I need for that blueprint? Uh, 25. Let's go for 30. And we're going to want a lot of space belt. Like thousands and thousands. 50,000? That's not even on the scale that I was expecting. Okay. Let's start with what we can manage. 3,000 of these, 500 of these, and uh, we'll wait till the rest of it is loaded before we ask for the belts. And you need about 250k scaffold to go around it, indeed. Uh, Ohio Soro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was fun to build. 
Oh, pet. Plenty of biters elsewhere. Biters on Narvus just wastes UPS. Yeah, kind of. Speaking of which, as soon as the military spiders are rearmed, I'll get them to clear out some more. Uh, it does feel good to have all of those production blocks finished, though. It feels weird that we've got way more holmium than iridium already. Um, obviously, we just did a better design. Uh, I can't even remember which planet we're getting holmium from. Phaser? Phaser. Yeah. This is so, 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 so much better as an outpost than uh, this mess, for example. No possibility of getting stuck. No maintenance needed. As long as you keep sending it the stuff it needs to keep going, which in this case is nuclear fuel, well, the parts for nuclear fuel and some other things. Guess I'll help get rid of these. How's the throughput on that minimal core mining setup? Uh, well, for Taser, for example, I, I only put one core mining drill, uh, but it seems to be enough. Well, it's enough to keep these two cannons busy, more than one cannon busy. I guess we can check how many core fragments we've made. Uh, over the last hour, Holmanite core fragment has been 444 per minute. That seems like too much. Does it not? Ten point three nine one per second, and all of it. I was going to say all of it is getting sent back, but I just saw it stop. Doesn't seem like it does that very often. Yeah, we're actually bottlenecked on how quickly the delivery cannons can recharge. Maybe I should put another one here. We do have some, right? I don't know if there's any delivery cannons left here. Something I definitely should have left behind. Does it count the receiving end of the cannon in the stats? That's... that's a thought. Yeah, if all of the core fragments getting... If they're getting, like, deleted and then de respawned somewhere else, if that counts towards production, that's going to mess everything up. I would imagine it doesn't do that, but...
10.391 per second is 623 per minute. So that actually does sound right, considering the little minor stoppages. Um, 463 per minute over the last hour does sound pretty plausible. Okay. So we're waiting on space belt. How much have we got? 2.4k. We're aiming for 3. So we have extra. We should already have extra in space. Uh, here's 605. I could probably just set this to 2.4k. We're looking for 2.6. What just happened to the UPS? Wait, really? Hold on. 55, 56, 57 UPS. Just point at this. And we're down to 23.8. Wow. Uh, Asanda Nima, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Also, Maholic, don't know if I said already, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. Whoa. There they go with the splitters. Uh, I think I would like to add some storage for each of these. We don't have to produce them any faster, but when the time comes, I would like to make sure we have lots of them. I used the ghost scanner mod to, to help know what I need to send to space into the rockets to build that. Oh, so like automating what you need to send up there. The preview generates a lot of stress. Yeah. It's like, it's as if it's having to render the whole thing in full detail and then squish it down or something. It made a combinate, made a combinator for that blueprint. Nice. All right, what else are we looking at? Uh, oh, we've already got the 500. So that just leaves 50,000. I think the entire thing being full would be 50,000, right? We've got 440... 44,000 belt. It does, if you look at smaller blueprints, you see the belt movement and stuff like this. Really. Never really noticed. Uh, how about this one? Yep. Do I have one with belts here? Oh yeah. True. That's our first core mining setup. Isn't it cute? We're still at 0% research. What the hell? Not that I should be... It's actually working. We only need six... We only need ten bioscience packs to finish this. 824 complete. Biological... Bio-science... Biological science pack 1. Apparently we made some a little while ago? Two minutes ago. 
So what's happening? We've got bioscience here. What's going on? We're missing the astronomic science pack, actually. Okay. What's your problem? Catalogs are looking for UV. I looked at UV earlier and it was just slow. Observation frame. Steel. It's going to be the same problem as before, isn't it? I should just... You know what? I'm going to fix this once and for all. It's literally just been one thing after another ever since we had a power blackout with this setup. Um, to do it right, I kind of need to empty the belt first. So, first thing we'll do is that. And we need to turn these around for the moment. Once the belt is empty, we still have a lane that can unload. Has the splitter on it? No undergrounds. Oh, this one? Yeah, you're right. Although the inserters seem to be behaving for the moment. see I've had to do this before. Um, let me just remind myself how the circuit works. So we've got your typical counter. I don't really remember why. Oh, that's right. We're removing the recipe signals from the counter. Inserters are set up so that set filters blacklist and also read hand contents pulse to add it to the count. Since they can only fit four filters, we have to remove everything that isn't relevant to these chests. Um, so So any positive number for items on the belt, and it's going to not add anything. Okay. I'm just having trouble remembering how to get it so that the count will be exact when we start over. I can pick this stuff up. These all seem okay. I think as soon as I've reset uh, the count. The inserters are going to put, like, just a little bit of stuff onto the belt, and then that's going to be their limit. And then we pulse in, saying that they can have extra for all of these items in these quantities. 
All right, is the belt actually empty now? Almost. All good. Let's get rid of these. And these. And we can turn these around. Right. So I'm just going to quickly reset that. A little bit of every item is going to get put on the belt. And we also need to pulse in that we're allowed to have it extra for these. And that should be it. Vyasha Slave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Player Crew, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And that's steel. Right, that should be it. We should see science moving again pretty soon. We have 60, 100 steel on the sushi belt. Once it makes its way around here, I think, uh, we should see astronomic science get moving again. And we spot the steel. That's a lot of cards. Like a lot of cards. There it is. Fantastic. And UV data. Or rather UV observation frame. Fantastic. Right then. And I just want to double check, but... I thought we had science automatically getting sent into space, but I think I stopped that. So we're going to need to set that up in the rail network. Again. The old main bus base is definitely not going to hack it, uh, as far as science goes. Not for too long, anyway. Right, so where are we? That's a lot of astronomic insights that we need before this works, but... I think it's all on the way. Whoops. That looks safe. We've got a lot of belt to wait for. How much do I want to wait for the belt to be produced? We can only store 9.6 thousand if I leave it like this. Haven't actually got any speed modules or anything here. We could definitely... Speed things up a bit. No doubt that's going to be too fast for the belts and or inserters. 
but it won't hurt. It's still only 0.325 space belt per second. 84.5 lubricant per second. We've got 100k. Might need to upgrade the red belt here. Where is this even coming from? All the way up here, please. That's probably overkill for steel, but it's fine. At this late date, it's not that difficult to replace all that with blue belt. Is that a mod for inserting modules? Yes, it is. It is called Module Inserter. Oh, the output belt is too slow. So, all in all, that could be a whopping 4.225 space transport belt per second. Um, somehow, I don't think the belt was the problem there. Yeah, that's probably going to help. Still, 50k is, even if this was going full speed, uh, we're looking at three hours plus change, more like three hours, 20 minutes, and that's if all of this was going as fast as possible. And I think we're actually bottlenecked on the stack inserter. Well. If that's how long it's going to take, I think we'll head up there before it's finished. Um, what else should we take up? Have space belt also in the second rocket? Oh, we do too. It's only a thousand. Unfortunate. Uh... It may be the case we need more scaffolding. It certainly doesn't hurt to send it up. So let's just head up there with the scaffolding for now. Don't forget to put on the thruster suit. And away we go. So that's another 50,000 uh, scaffolding. Oh, this blueprint doesn't include the scaffolding. Whoops. Take that. And as usual, I find my inventory is much too full. Turn off the logistic quests for now.
that'll be fine. Let's go place some scaffolding. Since spells don't use productivity modules, you could send up the raw materials and assemble in space with better machines. Space assembler is 10 times faster. That's a good point. Definitely something to think about. Oh. Might want to turn off my robocop for this part. And we're still waiting on... Okay, it's definitely working. It's just going to take a while. I don't even have speed modules in these. Okay, let's fix that much, at least. Uh, module in super computer speed I think those already have speed so do those ones it was just this one Jewels are on their way. Plastic. Uh, stop in the name of saving energy. We did actually finish placing all of the scaffolding that we strictly need. So why don't we just make this a little bit easier? Not my favorite noise. Guess we'll continue mowing the lawn. Really wish I'd added copious um, storage for belts a long time ago. In fact, it's something to consider for vanilla playthroughs as well, to have more than one uh, chest for belt storage. Seeing usage of it tends to be very bursty. I guess we may as well grab what belt we've already got and start placing it. Before I do that, I'd like to get rid of all the bot jobs for placing scaffolding, though. Oops. Definitely don't need this over here. looks very weird. Let's see that again. Remove floor from underneath myself. Step two, start walking. Step three, as soon as I exit the tile very slowly, I start floating very fast. Maybe it would be better to do this part with RoboPorts. How many SPM is this blueprint? 
Um, the target was uh, for each tier one space science pack, we just build a single space manufacturing with no speed modules, and then we ratio things to support it. Um, turns out that takes a lot, and if I'd known that ahead of time, I would have made a smaller target. Like, I don't know, one per second or something. Actually, I think... Doesn't it start at, like, 0.66 per second for most of those sciences? Placing it all down gonna also take about an hour, maybe more, so it's better to start with this task now. I suppose so. We do have an amount of belt and stuff up here that we can start with. Vanesh Panda, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? Vanesh Panda. Hello to you too. How you doing? It was good. Fantastic. All right, let's place what scaffolding we've got. And it's going to take a few trips to finish it like that. I'm going to go grab some belt first. Got to get my ass to bed, though. Got to be up in three hours. Uh-oh. I hope you don't have too much that you need to do today. Uh, let's grab all the belt that we've got remaining. All the 15 pipes. Actually, just all the pipes. Um, that should be fine for now. Take care, Panda. I can't believe how many recycling facilities it takes to support this base. This is definitely the kind of thing I would rather be building with a rail box system. Um, if I had looked more carefully at what it takes to get space rail, I definitely would have cheesed 50 energy science packs and skipped building this uh, main bus base entirely. Oh. These are the crappy robot bots. Let's fix that. It's going to absolutely annihilate our batteries when we swap these, but what can you do? And away we go. I guess uh, fewer jetpacks and more RTG is in order. Spidertrons can't float across the void in space, can they? Speaking of which, while we're doing this with bots, uh, why don't we play with our spiders a little bit? If I can find the leader here... Oh, found him. Luckily, he's got a different loadout from the others. Let's continue clearing out down here.
nice and safely. That should do it. Check on them after that. My whole coal mining is every five minutes stuck because too much vulcanite. Yeah. That's why I um, switched over to these simplified coal mining setups where we send the frag... Uh, uh, the core fragments back to Nalvas. Because stuff like this just eventually gets clogged, despite my best efforts. Um, I guess we can do that to temporarily fix it. can add some storage. Doesn't seem like the best long-term solution. I mean on Nervous, I have too much of Vulcanite. Oh, okay. Uh, if you really need to sink Vulcanite, you could turn it into rocket fuel or something. But in my experience, Vulcanite's a little bit precious, so... I would probably recommend storing it. And away go our butts. We're still on 0% zero per zero percent for panspermia. And I don't know why. It's just slow. We're still waiting on another eight uh, insights. Well, that's how it goes, I suppose. We are close. Use it for OP smelting recipes. Oh yeah, true. I do fuel and all better smelting recipes. Okay. Um, I've heard with K2 plus SE, there's you eventually have like antimatter, so you can convert. Well, not antimatter. Um, was it antimatter? Some kind of high level science magic that lets you convert one resource to another. Um, but unfortunately in space exploration, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do coal mining and keep everything going, you need to either build storage forever or eventually start destroying certain items to keep everything else flowing. I think we've already run out of normal pipe here. Destroying resources feels so wrong. Think of it as converting it to other resources with extra steps.
it's not like you're destroying merchandise to keep the price up in real life, which is a thing that actually happens. Always triggers that efficiency itch, even after so many hours of playing. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've I've always had um I, I've always been pretty pedantic with not wanting to waste even a little bit of a finite resource, even if it's very abundant. But the moment that you can produce it infinitely, um I stop worrying about it entirely. And it's really just a function of how much time or effort it takes to get it. Little by little, we're actually building some of this thing. I'm going to have to make so many machines. This might be a good opportunity to, uh, this is a great excuse actually, to build a automatic system with crafting combinators uh, to build all the machines that we need. We could use the logistics network. I think we did a little bit of this up here before. Uh, yeah, recipe combinator. You can't see the output when you mouse over it for some reason, but it does work. Um, and that's just reading the recipe. And then we set requests for a request to chest based on that. Uh, what we could do is have a constant combinator with a number of how many of each machine we need to build. Use that to set recipes. Read the recipe. Um, read the required ingredients. And... Have the bots bring the resources and go through all those different machines we need to build one by one. Might not be that difficult, actually. We're going to need a lot more uh, long pipe sent up. Let's change the requests on this thing. This is a, uh, only a thousand regular pipe. We need 2,000 of that, 2.1k undergrounds. Uh, 54 Niners, 500 ers wow. Probably already got enough Nines up here, but I'll still bring some more. Alright, let's see how full that ends up being before we make any adjustments. Still waiting on 1% for panspermia. I don't really understand how that's even possible. Wait. That has no significant data in it. Does that mean... Why are we putting significant data on the belt? I don't know that that's necessarily the best idea. There's only two anyway. Um... 
This one isn't taking anything from the main belt. This one is, and this one is. Okay. I mean, I guess I designed that when I... The whole point of the sushi belt was that I didn't know what the production chains would look like. So it's not that surprising that I was putting significant data on the belt. Even so, I'm a little disappointed this didn't get the significant data it was looking for. Where's the belt for blue signs? Here it is. Oh, well, that's not going to help either. Don't tell me there's actually... Well, that's embarrassing. I think there's actually... Uh... 75 blue science on this belt. Okay. How about this then? Whoops. Whoops indeed. Blue science. I should have... I should have realized, like, it really shouldn't have taken this long. And we can remove... Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Don't forget to read hand contents pulse. Fantastic. Uh, that's a problem. Hmm. I guess I'll have to physically go over there and fix that. Up we go. Uh, leaving a trail of bots behind, of course. Whoops. It's actually quite a bit of bot activity. have just too much science and it's a problem. I suppose so. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's fix this. And that's going to be set filters blacklist. Cool. And two hundred times forty eight well, times twenty four. 4,800. That's our limit for each of these science packs. Oh, wow. That literally just happened in an instant, didn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. What else are we researching? We could probably get that reusability done, like, immediately. Medpack 3? Why not? We can't get Medpack 4 yet. Is the cooldown... Wait, let's see. Requires biomass to make it. Chemical... We can only make it in space. I think. 
You can't put chemical gel in a barrel, can you? You can. So you can get it on planet. Even so. Just getting a bigger chunk of health from a med pack hardly feels worth the effort. Um, thermal radiating efficiency. Not that great. Mining productivity might not be the worst idea. It's going to take a long time things as they are. I think we'll do that after uh, eighteen eighteen six. Isn't that a worse ratio than the normal ones, or do you get more blank data cards out of it? There's not a whole lot to research right now. Alright, fine. Let's do this. At least we finally fixed the sushi signs. Also, I've been meaning to take these back to... where they belong. That's a lot of cannon shells raining down. I guess it's because we fixed that system after it was empty for so long. Wait, what is this? Beryllium. I haven't even got close to using beryllium yet. Uh, Bioscience 2? Why not? And then we'll check this one off. Alright, give to me all of the belts, please. That's probably more undergrounds than we even need. Right, my inventory is too full. Um, okay, back we go. Doop -be -doop. Do I not have bots? What's going on here? Oh, this is already more built than I realized. Probably could have used more underground belts in order to reduce the number of belt we need overall for this build. Definitely would have been a good idea. Kind of be a pain to do it now. What else can we research? Parts recovered. I would rather the cargo safety.
busy little bots. So much more for them to do. I wonder how our spiders are doing. Let's park somewhere. The bots are definitely going to have a lot to do. Let's check on them. Oh, some of them took actual damage. It's a little bit concerning. Let's roll over that little tiny base first. And why don't we go exploring this way? Oh, we've run out of energy. Let's drop this in place again. Very, very carefully. Suppose while that's recharging, check on our spiders. That's a lot of scaffolding. Already filled up to 35k, not bad. Research complete, fantastic. Let's park over here. Should be safe enough. In hindsight, I probably would have built this with robo ports. So it could gradually build itself. And rip my batteries again. Yeah, they're doing okay. Right then. What's next? Let's grab some more scaffolding, I suppose. <clears throat> mm. 
Oops, excuse me. And actually, I'd like to take a little break. I'm just having the bots drop things. They need to recharge anyway. Let's try building that system to build all of the machines that we need. Hopefully none of them need fluids or anything. Um, I could always use this machine that we've already got here. No, it's fine. So what we're going to do, if we can, I think I'll just remove this for now. Otherwise, things are going to get confusing. Let's have a look at our blueprint. We need... Uh, 152 supercomputers. Twenty-eight chemical plant thingies. Um, what am I looking for? Twenty-six, whatever those are. Plasma generators. Ten growth facilities. Uh, let's see. Four thermo what's it? Six particle accelerators. I put that over here. Twenty five uh, landing pads. Already going to bring those up from downstairs, so not going to worry about that actually. Sixty. You know what? I was going to build the minimum number of machines to get this going first. But to figure out what that is, is extra work. So let's just do this for now. Uh, we need 35 of these. 35 of these. And the one... Space assembly, uh, space manufacturers. Let's make it 40 so we have a few spare. Actually, no. We'll just make what we need for now. 39. Is it laser facilities? Uh, 22 of whatever those blue things are. It's not this thing, is it? Twenty-two electromagnetics facilities. See, we already did this decontamination facility. Wait, how many is that? Sixty. That's a lot. Two 
216 telescopes. I think we'll save those for later. Is it only three kinds of recipes we need for those? Yeah, we'll just start with three. Um, what else? 44 spinny things. Where are the spinny things? Astron metrics facility. Um... I think I got all of those. Nine radiation facilities, seven, but that's called. Is it? It's not a laser facility. Thermodynamics? Oh, that's a laser facility. And we need 39 thermodynamic facilities. And then two bio what's it? Genetics facility and hypercooler. Hypercooler. Okay. So we've more or less got our list. First thing we're going to have to do is pulse that into a memory cell. And then... Crafting Combinator is going to set recipes. Um, I think... Well, let's go get some chests. Take some inserters as well. Right, so we are writing recipe, empty inserter hands, keep crafting until zero, don't discard items. Uh, Behind left is the overflow chest, and that's going to be uh, purple. Actually, I'll do that behind right. And we'll put a requester chest. No. This requester chest is going to end up with stuff in it we don't want when... when the requests change. What I need is a requester chest um, that's going to have anything that's not supposed to be in it taken out with an unlimited number of filters. Um, let's see. Basically need to... Hmm, this is tricky. This is very tricky, actually. We're going to set requests for this uh, chest. And we want a filter inserter to take out anything that's not being requested. I 
think to do that, we need a list of every possible resource that could be in this chest. Oh, I know. Um, wherever the requests are going to be set, we're just going to multiply that by a very large negative number. And set filters uh, whitelist on this thing. And then, ah, uh, this problem again. I want to read what's in the chest as a positive signal, but we can't both read and set requests. You can only do one or the other with the request to chest. So I think we're going to have to do uh, kind of like what we did with loading the cargo rockets where we have a layer of um, we have the requester chests here and then we have a purple chest the trouble is it's going to keep putting items in the purple chest that we don't want it to We also can't use a filter inserter for this because this can require what the this can require more than five inputs. Some of these recipes. If I can just find one, there it is. Seven inputs. We can only fit five if it's a filter inserter. I could just live with bots constantly taking stuff out of this chest. Don't like that at all. Well, while we can't read what's in the requester chest, we can see what's supposed to be in it. This is really tricky, actually. Uh, I also want to know if if we get a recipe combinator, need some power poles. Power poles, power poles. Uh, if we read from here. What does the recipe combinator do? It looks like it picks one of these signals arbitrarily. Can't tell which one it is. Blue. Uh, processing units, LDS, and... Uh, a single... That's not right. You could read the recipe with a second combinator and use that to filter the items, maybe. Find ingredients. Okay. Uh, I think... 
it's probably safest if we get just one of these signals. Anything greater than zero, but anything one. And now we know what recipe that's looking at first. So then we're going to set the requests to that. And what happens when the requests change to something else? How do we set the requests from this? And then... Remove items when that changes. Put a second crafting combinator on the machine to read the recipe. And read that content with the recipe combinator? I mean, we'll know what recipe it is. Because we'll be setting it. It's going to be the signal that's right here. Uh, et al, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, some of these things we might have to automate separately. I mean, we could, we could craft combinate our way to having these as well, but I don't want to bother with that. Hello, hope you're well. Nickna, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, okay. In the meantime, can I get the bots to take this stuff away from me? I find it a little funny how everything else is so simple. We do need cosmic water to make those. I knew there was a reason this thing was up here. Do any of these other things require fluids? Not that one. Cosmic water. No fluids here. No fluids here. Particle accelerator requires lasers as well. <sighs> Multispectral mirrors. We only need a few of those. Hmm. Okay. I guess we will have to put this up here then. That should be all it takes. Why is this taking so long to get placed? Don't know where it went. Well, Most of the recipes only have uh, five inputs. If we simply do a filter inserter taking from that chest. No, that won't do. 
If only it was possible to read what's in the um request a chest. Maybe it would be better to just request one stack of every possible resource for all of these recipes. Uh, Whiskers, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love that blood trail emote, actually. Um, yeah, I think that might be what I end up going with, sadly. All right. Quest a chest. We're going to need a long list of things that can go into these recipes as well. Big electric motor, heat shield, LDS. Heat shielding. LDS. Uh, what else? Fast inserter, space assembly machine. Space assembly machine. Uh, and then... Cosmic water. What's next? Heat shield, LDS, storage tank, electric furnace. Electric furnace. Uh, chemical plant, steel. Chemical plant. You know what, if we're going to put one stack of each thing in here, um, maybe it would be okay if I just set the requests and limit them to 50, or a bit less, because bots sometimes can go slightly over. Um, so, I'll take this. We'll put... Purple chest here behind right is overflow. Uh, don't discard the fluids if we can help it, which we can't. We do require water to make cosmic water. Um, so, what if? Less than twenty thousand. There's three point nine thousand sitting in here. It's a little bit unhelpful. Do I have some storage tanks over here? Yes, good. Trying out that mod, do you know what the time stands for on the recipe combinator? Have a recipe with 0.25 crafting time and 0.75 crafting speed, the output is 2. What does it stand for? Um, I don't recall, but I think it might have been like how long it's going to take to craft. I could be wrong. All right, that should be fine. Actually gonna limit this to like 10K. All right. Find ingredients. Uh, I think I would like to add a 
substation here just so we can see the output of this thing. Oh, and we want to... no, let's put a combinator. We want to normalize it. Why am I not... oh, this is nav mode. Uh, each greater than zero, output each. I guess if we want to normalize it, uh, if we want any number other than one, we're going to need an arithmetic as well. Right, so that's going there. Arithmetic goes here. One times, let's say, 40. Actually, 47 is safe. Each times 47, but put each. Set requests. And input. Empty insert as hands. Keep crafting until zero. That should be fine. Discard fluids switched off. The fluids should go back into here, I think. And that'll set our recipe. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, minor detail. What we need here is not a constant combinator, but rather... Uh... Output everything input count. I think, yeah, anything greater than zero, we can't put everything in the count. Unconditional. Uh, we connect its input to its output and it makes a memory cell. Pulse generator goes here. So this is going to have a signal going round and round in circles. Uh, it'll hold onto it indefinitely. This little contraption. Why are there no... wait, what? Pulse generator. What? Ouch. Uh, probably best if I don't have the railgun equipped all the time. That was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Um, whoops. At least we didn't destroy anything difficult to replace. Except for, well, I wouldn't exactly call the recipe combinator difficult to replace, but I didn't have it handy. Okay, so pulse generator goes here. For some reason, that isn't a problem this time. Uh, input goes here. I think we have to connect the output to this one. And let me just turn this off, turn it on. And then we have our list of stuff we need on a memory cell. And the thing that I haven't thought of yet, it's actually pretty easy, is... I could probably use a passive provider for this. And a long arm.
we're going to we're going to need a multiply by negative one each times negative one output each I could remove the need for this combinator by putting these in as negatives to start with actually no because I think it has to be positive for this to work okay read hand contents pulse no condition so whenever we take something out from here uh, a finished product we're going to subtract it from our memory cell and that should be that once I connect this part um, that should be all it takes All right, let's give it a go, shall we? So we're going to try to make a thermodynamics facility. We're going to stop when we realize there's no electric furnaces or chemical plants. Um, bots are going to bring more of this stuff because 50 isn't enough. Maybe I should set it up to bring like a hundred of each. And hope that it doesn't end up getting too full. How many different types of items do we need for all these things? Let's see. Computers. LDS processing unit space assembly. Space Assembly, LDS, Fast Heat Shield, LDS, Big Electric. There's going to be a lot of overlap, I think. Like, a lot of overlap, actually. Accumulators. I think we could probably get away with setting this to a hundred or well, ninety-seven without this ever ending up full. So that just leaves automating certain things. Um, but I would like to test this more carefully. So let's make ourselves well, we're going to need to do this anyway. Let's automate steel furnaces. Um, I need some assembly machines. Not going to worry too much about rods for a couple more things I need to finish off. Uh, don't actually know where the assembly machines are. And why is there a single rocket science pack over here. I do remember where we've got some assembly machines actually. There we go. Where am I going? Uh, stone furnace, steel furnace, Quest a chest. And then... Need another long arm. And then some steel furnaces. I don't need this anymore. Actually, I'm keeping that. Just in case. Electric furnace. Uh, 
Okay. I'll ask about why certain things are missing from the logistic network in a moment, but for now... Um, But now I want to get just one of each thing necessary for that recipe so we can see the count go down. What's the command for mod list again? Mods. There you go, Mad Mike. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we do have stone here. Let's put provider chests there. That was hard? Yes. Alright, there's our electric furnace. And we also need a chemical plant, which we've got in our inventory. Alright, so what's our count? We're trying to make thermodynamics facility. We're looking for 39 of those. Currently says 39 third thermodynamics facilities in the top middle there on the inputs and outputs. So if I put this in here, 38. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure this is working. Next is setting that up and chemical plants um, chemical plant don't know if all of that's going to be in the network stone brick pipe steel And should be steel. Just got to put some passive provider chests where some of these are. Nope, that's already fine. May as well make these passive providers. Not that we're using these ones. Uh, red circuits, we need to add something like this to. There's only one place it fits. Oh, no, there isn't. Even so, here is fine. This doesn't actually do anything right now. Uh, blue circuits. I might just need to do it like this. And there might be some other things missing, but... Oh, storage tank. Iron plate. I'm gonna have to change this up a bit. Actually, just a bit of wire will do. Bonus. Less than 50. Same goes for storage tank. Oh. 
same thing over here, but with chemical plants. Chemical plant. Wherefore add down chemical plant. All right. We do not have a whole lot of logistic parts, and they're prioritizing bringing me the iron. Eight storage tanks each time. Right then. We're going to have to get through another 38 uh, thermodynamics facilities before we see what else is missing. Let's try and get ahead of it. Those are all fine. I don't know how many space assembly mach- oh, I do. It's like a thousand. 372, never mind. I think we've probably got enough space assembly machines uh, to build everything we need here already. Probably, maybe. Um, what else? Those are all good, obviously. Uh, I don't think we have a consistent supply of fast inserters. And I don't know how many we've got in the logistic network. We could probably automate those. So we need burner, regular, and then fast. It's annoying. Of course, we don't have those here either. I think we'll just, um... How many do we need? I'm pretty sure there's only one thing that needs fast inserters. We need 31 times 4. 124. We've probably got that lying around somewhere. I'm pretty sure we do. Since I have a habit of leaving things like inserters here just in case. Uh, what a mess. Well, I could always find out. Arithmetic Combinator. Fast Inserter. Times 1. Output Fast Inserter. Apparently there are none in the logistic network. Okay. Well, I know we've got some yellows. And we've got these things. So, 
can probably just do it like this. Uh, let's just say fast insert a less than four. I don't want to go overboard wasting the yellow inserters here. Why is there no steel? There's plenty of steel. We just don't have enough logistic bots here. There's a total of 50. Fine, let's make it 100. If we start getting bot attrition, we start getting bot attrition. Without a doubt. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I could give it a hand. No harm in this, surely. I think we can probably move this stuff over. Right, steel, LDS, heat shielding, glass, and big electric. hundred steel every time. This is really going to take a while because of the bots. Oh well. It will slowly build up that reserve of buildings that we need. I could put space underground pipe here so I can put those make uh, those stack inserters might be a good idea uh, can I have there we go. space underground belt here. Stuck in settings. That's a bit better. Now why don't small electric? I thought we automated that. We did, but we didn't put it in the network. If you keep 50 or less bots in one network, it won't be affected. Yeah, we had 50, but it's a bit slow. I really dislike the bot attrition. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I mean, it does encourage fewer bot builds, which I certainly don't mind, but maybe there could be another way to go about it. Have them lose energy or something. I don't know. Or maybe they could get slower if there's more of them. Or just receive orders slower. I just disabled it in the mod settings. Yeah. Alright, chemical plants are being built. Alright, I'll be interested to see how far through this list we get um, before something gets stuck because I didn't think to automate it or we ran out of a finite supply or something.
But I am glad I got that done for now. But why don't we go take a load off our brains and do something a bit more mindless for a minute? And place some scaffolding. Probably. Uh, we're going to use the bots pretty soon. And away we go. Actually, no. More jetpack is best jetpack. Much better. And back for more. We don't actually need to charge anything until it's time to use the bots. Disconnected pipe back up where you put the underground for the lubricant. True. Thank you. And away we go. Back up this way. Need some more. Why do I have steam engines still in my inventory? And delivery cannon capsules. And fluid isothermic generators. Won't be long before there's no more scaffolding to place. Probably make a bit more room in my inventory for this.
Oh, I'm muted. Oops, thank you. Uh, Zordic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mike muted indeed. And this is, I think, our last trip making... Uh, dropping off scaffolding. Finally. Right then. So that just leaves waiting for the belt and the machines. And we could definitely... Did we finish loading this yet? Nope. Still loading space pipe. Can I speed that up? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Kind of surprised, although it was a long time ago uh, that we built this. I ratioed it so that these could keep up with all of the individual types of pipe going all at the same time, almost. But once everything's saturated, that's not the kind of usage that we end up getting. So, let's see. This is 3.25 space pipe per second. This is only going to produce one per second. But we do have 4,000 space pipe accumulated. So that shouldn't take too long. I guess let's uh, see how much our automated system has built. We've got eight thermodynamics facilities, and that leaves 31 to go. Could be worse. We're bottlenecking on storage tanks, which is bottlenecking on iron plate, which we can go pick up over here. And then steel. That should keep going at a decent pace for a little while. Never mind. Alright. And it's eight of those for each thermodynamics facility. So we need eight times thirty. Two hundred and forty. Point four one per second. Uh, is nearly 10 minutes just to get the thermodynamics facilities. We could probably speed this up a little bit. Won't take long before that's empty, but that's okay. Rest of the steel can go in here. And in here. Okay. LDS. Uh, could probably get rid of my scaffolding. Drop it in here again. Heat shielding. Uh, 
Where did my chests go? Actually, where did my steel... Up oh, there they are. There should be a bot coming to collect it already. But apparently there isn't. Oh, they already placed it. Fantastic. Even if I have to semi-automatically help to keep it going at a decent speed, just having the uh, the list of things that we need to build getting eaten away at and having the recipe set automatically is a pretty nice luxury. I guess we'll grab some more steel. It's probably... Maybe, hopefully, even enough to get through the whole thing. Yeah, right. Didn't mean to pick up that plastic. And I kind of want to go do something else while we wait for that automation. Except we'll almost definitely run into some kind of speed bump where I need to manually intervene with something or other. To get it going again. to me the chest, please. Okay. That'll do for now, I think. Uh, is there anything I should be taking back with me? Maybe some biomass. I'm pretty sure we've already got enough on planet, but no reason not to. And I'll put all of this other stuff in the logistic network too. Sure, why not? And before some point in the future I look back and go, why is that there? That'll get sorted out on planet. Rest can stay. Alright. Thought that was a capsule sitting on t uh, sitting to the north of the cargo rocket silo for a moment then. Let's head back, shall we? And here we are. Uh, I probably shouldn't have left my military spiders standing around that long. Some of them seem to have run out of rockets. Let's bring them back first. As soon as they roll over these two bases right here. And... I was going to say I want to think about going back to the desert planet to set up a better system for iridite core fragments. 
But first, let's see if there's another... There's literally only one that we've discovered. Okay. I guess we'll head over there. Unless there's another resource that we haven't tapped yet with core fragments, there's Vitamelange, but that necessarily means biters. Not fond of biters. This one is stone? Are there stone core fragments? As if... As if we don't have too much stone already. Core fragment stone. Amazing. Okay. I guess if you really, really, really want to maximize the number of regular core fragments you're getting, you could go there. Flags. Oh, there's a mysterious structure here. Uh, so we got Biter Meteors on a huge planet. Doesn't sound like my cup of tea. Especially with 33% threat to start with. Uh, threat 100%. Yikes. I kind of want to have a look at that. Uh, that's the stone planet, oddly enough. There's also a mysterious structure there. That's the structure. I was gonna say, I don't suppose scanning the planet is gonna make things any worse. If threat is 100%, it's just gonna be an endless carpet of biters, but that's not what we've actually got here. Uh, so, it would probably be wise to Trim surface. I don't know how much that's going to help. Hagen and Taser we've already visited. Lofa we have not. Big planet with uranium. Lots and lots of uranium core fragments does sound attractive. Threat, 3%. That is very low. Um... Solar is only 50%. We could set up core fragment processing on planet so we get uranium, but no. I think I would rather just send the stuff back by cannon. Uh, if we want to run this off nuclear. So it's a big planet. Uh, what's Nalvis? It's, it's a little bit smaller than Nalvis. It would take a while to clear the biters off of it, but we could do it. Especially with, uh, Spidertrons. And then run, uh, nuclear power and point defense. Or well, I guess we could just run nuclear power with the, uh... Uh, the big defensive cannons. Anyway, we've already got uranium, so that's not that high a priority. This is our only source of iridite, and we need to fix it. Um, so I guess I'll have to go there soon. Beryl, I don't think I've seen on a planet. Uh, we can't call mine an asteroid, but... I'm guessing this is going to be available in pretty big chunks. 23 million. That's a small one. 16 million. Sounds like a bit of a pain, to be honest. But we're going to need it sooner or later. Rampart. Very small. Not that big a threat. No biter meteors. We could clear off all the biters. It's just uranium again. Alto is more vulcanite. Waterless. Uh, big 
slightly bigger than Maria. Right, 7%. We can find all the biters there anyway. Make the exact same base. Actually, there's less solar, pa uh, solar power here. But the thing is, once you have solar, it doesn't require any throughput to keep it running. It's more Vulcanite. Vitamelange. Oh, and there's a huge planet with Holmanite. Like, really big. It's also got a mysterious structure. Um, well, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with Holmanite throughput for a little while. I've already looked at these ones. Crude oil core fragments are not too exciting, I don't think. All right. I think our priority first is to go back to... Which planet was it? I thought it was one of these ones. Fornax. Go back to Fornax, make a simpler core fragment mining setup. Um, oh, these things are... Oh, they're just recharging. Okay. Today's weather forecast... 19 to 21. Occasionally falling biters from space. Yes, indeed. What do you use for power? Uh, depends on the planet. I prefer solar spam where possible. Um because it just literally doesn't take any maintenance or throughput to run it. But if it's just a small outpost, uh, nuclear can make a lot of sense. Have you made a rail block for Erudite? I'm almost at my wit's end trying to make one, with all the breaking down and now needing anion beads. Uh, I think all I've done... I think I've done all the processing up to ingots over here, and then I send the ingots back home, back to Nalvis, and then we turn the ingots into plate and girders. Um, so I haven't actually done a rail block for it. That's what I'm going to have to do after I improve... Uh, the planet that we're getting Iridite from. Uh, I kind of went ahead and... used up the slots in this uh, cargo rocket that I'd normally use for this stuff. We could have the bots empty them again. It's either that or empty another cargo rocket. Or I could make another one. I guess that's not the worst idea. Do we have room for this? We actually do pretty easily. The only nuisance is getting the pipes down there, which isn't really that bad. Uh, so... Why don't we copy this over here, if we can? Maybe down here. I'm going to have to make a couple of adjustments. Let's move this over here. And these two here. Not gonna worry about the Roboport. Actually, I'll turn that off until this is built. I don't suppose I can get pipe to run 
through this thing, can I? I can. That's convenient. That's very convenient. Okay, we need another robopot right about here. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'll start a small build and fix later. There's a lot to think about. But yeah, I definitely... I'm very much preferring... Uh, wish I'd started it out this way. Making the outposts just as simple as possible, sending back core fragments and processing them all on Nalvis. Otherwise, you end up with things like this right here. Especially with Iridite. This thing spits out so much Iridite. I guess it's going to be exactly the same for Cryonite. That's what I'm doing now, just running out of room to keep it all in one block due to all the moving pieces. Do you mean like from core fragment processing all the way to like plate and girders or something a bit different? Um, the core fragment processing has looked like this for every single physical uh, every single core mining core fragment processing thing that doesn't have a fluid output. Cryo is okay. Got it to rods easily. Nice. What is your problem? Oh, I see. Construction spiders, please pay that a visit. And add a chain signal right there. I love how neat everything looks. Uh, do you mean this build, or like the rail blocks in general? Or this one? I do really like that they are perfect squares. Um, it's much, much, much neater to look at from the map than previous builds I've done. All of it? Thank you. Where are our spiders? They're on their way. I guess we won't wait to see that one come to fruition. Don't know if that's too aggressive or not. If it is, they'll just take some damage. It's not like they'll die. Oh, they're going to get stuck in the water. That means I have to give these orders all over again. Actually, why don't we make sure all of this is empty first? And then... Like this. That'll probably be okay. Oh, that's right. I think I had it automatically set up so that they'll do all of this stuff first. So what should I change here? Can't hurt to take more solar. 
Uh, let's make it a few coal mining. I think we've got extra coal mining drills on the planet already. Core mining drill. Wherefore art thou? Oh, I can see if the bots will build it. There's seven of them. Okay, we don't need to pack any core mining drills this time. Cargo landing pads already there. Cargo rocket sections. Um, did I see this was already... No. We need 70 cargo rocket sections in total to come back home. Well, worst comes to worst, I could build them. We're probably almost going to have enough just from the recycling when we land there anyway. And if I get all of this in motion again, um, that's going to help. A spell more. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I do core fragments into ore at the top, then convert that down and down until it's the end results needed. So I have chests for core fragments at, and ore at the top too. Can delivery cannon it to Nalvis on demand. So you're doing the a rail block on that planet? Just a couple more cargo rocket sections. Break. I don't think we're going to need any more of this. How's our spiders doing? Oh, got a long way to go, actually. Um, we've already got lots of solar on this planet. Definitely wouldn't hurt to add some more. And we can bring back the excess. Uh, I could honestly just leave all of this as it is, just kind of jammed. Oh, that was a bad idea. It's not going to work out. Copper's still moving. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll just sort of ignore everything else that's still here, or maybe I'll go to the trouble of deconstructing it at some point, and... I'll set up the usual, the now usual system. Just like we've got on Mariel. One change I definitely want to make to this layout is adding at least one more core miner. Well, it depends how many solar panels we're willing to take the time to build. Why don't my headphones work? Oh no. Rip. Uh, I think it was just this year I started making sure I always have a spare of things like that. In fact, I should probably start using the new copy of my mouse that I bought and keep this one as a spare. Um, what else should we pack? Let's look at the blueprint. That's not going to cut it. 
Uh, we've already got the cannons there. And we've got extra coal miners. We've got cannons on me at all times now. And chests. We need a recycler. Always carrying the assembly machines. Recycler's pretty easy to handcraft, right? Yeah. Don't need any more pulverizers. Uh, that just leaves... I mean, there's already a transmitter and receiver over there. I'll appropriate those. If not... If there aren't already spares there anyway. They're also easy to handcraft. I think there might actually be basically nothing that I need to take. I'll take like... Uh... I'll take a few cargo rocket sections. Just to make absolutely sure we have no trouble getting back. Let's see, we need 60. Recycling is going to give us a bunch of them. Let's, uh, let's take 10 packed. So 50. It'll be nice to get a reliable throughput of iridium. Also, I should take my own advice, um, just like I did with uh, belts over here. I should do that with um, what was I saying? Uh, accumulators and solar panels. I'm gonna add a lot more storage for those. No fancy uh, circuitry over here, just solar panel. Emulator. Why does this have accumulators in it? Let's see, that adds up to... 4,800 of each. Solar panel... 960. Wait, what? Oh, this was still getting flown over here. I see. Uh, let's add just a little bit more. So that gets us above like 12,000 accumulators. And as for the regular solar panels, they're not that useful anymore, but I'd still rather have more than less. Snake Snake, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how are our spooters doing? Are they just chilling? Uh, 
And how is the orbital assembling going? Concrete. I think we've got that being sent up by cannon. Yes, good. And the fact that we're needing concrete means we've moved on to the next uh, recipe. Fantastic. So we've already got... Three, four, five, ten, twenty. This is eighteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've finished building two of the things. That's great, actually. Maybe it won't take as long as I thought. Gun turrets. We have nothing making gun turrets. Uh, obviously. Let's add some automation for gun turrets. What are they made of? I think it's like... I think it's no different in space exploration, right? It's like copper, gear, and probably little engine things. See, this is exactly what I was expecting um, out of the things that I wouldn't be able to think of before I left. Is my net lagging again, or some frame drops? Uh, according to my system here, I haven't dropped any frames at all. Also, Imo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Anyone else having any issues? Single cylinder engines. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Everything okay? No. Alright, cool. Thank you. Uh, let me just put this thing back on. That'll give us a little bit more UPS. Why is it taking so long to get the assembly machines? Nope, don't go back there. Alright, so we need... Uh, gear and single cylinder engine. And I don't suppose there's a way we can line it up so that we could direct insert the gears. I don't think so. I'll just do it this way. That should do it. It's a very short trip for a bot. Oh. And we got a little, little bit closer to only having 50 construct, uh, logistic bots. Where's the iron plate? It's very slowly coming. Alright, I can't really wait a, wait around long enough to see this whole thing. Wait a sec, I forgot this part. Good thing I checked. Well, it would put cogs in here anyway. Even so, that'll work. Right, how are we doing getting ready for the trip? Is this it? We're actually already done. Anything else I should take? I don't think so. What did I forget last time? It was uh, substations. We've got a lot of them. Anything else? 
Don't think so. Actually, I kind of want to take a Spider-Tron. Just one. And we'll make it a instructor tron Um, logistic requests really could use some improvement, but wait a sec, wait a sec, wait, 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 wait. So it's still got its, it does not have its equipment grid. Um, hmm. Is it... Uh, Alright, you can stay. Wait, no, I don't think I gave it its equipment, because I was missing something or other. Four personal robo-parts. Um, power. Batteries. And more batteries or legs? Like just one pair of legs doesn't do that much. Do the construction spiders have legs? I don't think they do. I can't see what they've got. Oh, there we go. They do have legs. Okay, legs it is. And if I pick this up, okay, if I pick this up, oh my god, um, can I, I can't turn off its personal logistics, okay, cool, how much is in its trunk, way too much. Way too much. Wasn't there some special thing that I saw in research earlier? Um, that allowed you to send Spidertrons to a planet? Okay, you are finally empty. I have picked you up. You still have your stuff. Fantastic. So I should be able to just keep you in my inventory or put you in the cargo rocket. Just put them in a rocket they auto-deploy? Ah, okay. I guess that was in the description somewhere. Or if I go to... Can take passengers... Cargo rockets... I'm just scanning for the word Spidertron, honestly. Basic automation... Destinations... Maybe it was just someone told me that you could do that. Well, whatever the case. They do. Hey, Morpheus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm carrying an awful lot of extra stuff right now. This is fine, I suppose. That's what I've been using to set up new outposts. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Oh, we could send more fuel, but in this case we're really not going to need it. Alright, what's the name of our target planet? Uh, Hornex. Hornex? One X landing pad. Let's double check it's not full or anything. It is not. 
Also, why am I still in the thruster suit? Get out of here. Alright, that's good enough for now, I think. I'll take those, thank you. Fornax, here we come. I wonder what I forgot. Fantastic. What's the difference in the thruster suit and the power armor? Uh, thruster suit gives you a built-in jetpack and you won't suffocate in space as long as you have life support canisters. Um, I'm pretty sure it's also got worse stats in terms of armor and stuff. Uh, let's see. 070, 6050, 070. Yeah. It's worse defense. And I think you get fewer. Oh. Really? Okay, Power Armor Mark II versus Thruster Suit Mark II. You actually get more inventory size out of the Thruster Suit. But, um. It's, uh, if your shields go d you don't get damage re a damage reduction applied to things hitting the shield, do you? I'm not sure about that one. Uh, whatever the case. Oh, you've already got a space capsule. Wait, how do you already have a space capsule? Well, either way. Let's put everything into the Robo Network. Actually, let's do it up here. And... As for the ammo, where's the robo network? Right about here. That's already full, isn't it? I guess there was no need for that. Right, let's figure out where I'm going to put this. Probably right here. Uh, space exploration, score mining, and go. And I'll want to move those media defense installations. I mean, if this whole thing wouldn't get, wouldn't be prone to block getting uh, blocked up, this would be a much better system, but... This is much more reliable. And then... Robo pot go. That reminds me, Marielle should have its uh, sulfuric acid barrels by now. Yep, fantastic. Means we can make our batteries here, which means we can make our ammo here. Okay, let's grab ourselves a recycle. 
cling facility, and a coal mining drill. Take this one. Uh, this needs to be set. Well, yeah, I'll copy this setting down here. That's not the one I'm looking for. Hmm. We're not going to be sending ingots anymore. In fact, we're not going to be sending any of this stuff. Oh, bots have range. That helps. Uh, what's your target, though? Could we maybe... Could we maybe get something to remove all of this stuff? Why don't we get the construction spiders to pay it a visit? Because I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to make use of that uh, that slot right there. Actually, there's really no reason to do that. Let's just use this one and keep it next to the other core fragments, except for uranium over there. So this is core fragment iridite. And it's going to be aimed at Novus, right about here. And you are set to Four Fragment Erudite. Why does that say less than zero? It would be greater than zero. Uh, I should have double-checked what the channel for this one is. Fornax. Okay, we need to make a new one. Uh, this is Fornax DC chest. And this one is the Nalvis... Uh, base over here. Nervous DC rail receiver number one. Okay. And on Nervous, we need to whitelist or fragment erudite. Don't need this anymore. And I think that is just about ready to go. We just need to set up the cannons to supply this end. Uh, which is going to be down here. This one's already taken. It's Marielle. That one's a bit different. This one's next, I think. Okay, let's we'll start with the big four. Ornax. Right here, please. And... I need to set the dish to Fornax DC chest. Next is this one. Oh, I meant to use the back button there. Rip. I think I forgot to turn this one on. One X. Chest. And back. One X. Four X. Four X. And 
I think the last iron plate and sulfuric acid barrel also need to go there. Iron plate. Uh, goes here. And then steel and stone brick go to the other chest. And let's just double check they're all switched on. Fantastic. Looks like we're in business. Now we just need to move the media defenses. I'll just remove half of them, just in case. Uh, that was not a good order. Let's take this one, rip it out off. Click this here. We're still on products finished zero on this one. We need ten batteries. Uh, we'll add a requested chest. For ammo. Bring some roboports across. Also, here is a spider. Put that in the robo network. This will just be so that we move all of that uh, ammo back over here. Do it this way, actually. That'll be fine. Alright, Robopod on. Move all of this. Actually, I'll just make that a passive provider. Don't need that. Why are we still charging? Media got through, but it didn't hit anything. We've got some defense ammo on the way. Fantastic. Looks like we're ready now. How fast is this? Nine per second. Uh, I think while we're here this time, I'll add a couple more of these and one more core miner. And we'll see how we go power-wise. 279 megawatts. What is he doing right now look really cool? Uh, I'm setting up a remote outpost with as few things as possible. I have been to this planet before, back when I was setting these things up with a little bit of processing of core fragments on the planet. Um, but because of all of the different outputs that you have to deal with and get rid of, 
it proved to be a massive headache, especially with the er erudite core fragments. You get so much erudite out of it um, that it's really hard to make room for everything else. Uh, so what I'm doing lately instead is sending core fragments back to the home planet, and we're going to deal with them there. Uh, power is looking okay, I think. Maybe not, with the rate we're losing accumulator charge. Um, let's start placing some of those solar panels, I guess. could also stand to make some more of room. Flat solar. Uh, 100 to infinite. Accumulator. 500. What's the goal with this mod? Um, so, when you play vanilla, uh, kind of the end goal, unless you want to make some arbitrary goals yourself, is to launch a rocket into space. Uh, with space exploration, that's kind of just the beginning. Uh, we actually need to go to different planets to get different resources in order to continue to progress. And it gets a whole lot more complicated than uh, than the vanilla game as well. I guess those don't really desperately need to be purple chests. Let's go place some more solar panels. Oh, um... Might be good to have all 12 of the media defenses as well. It's probably overkill, but it's fine. Also, Gorill, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Diarchus, welcome to you as well. I already dropped all of my accumulators. I guess I'll add some more of these up the top there. Uh, we are missing accumulators and nothing else over here. Don't need any life support at the moment, so let's get some more jetpack. Also, these could move over a bit, perhaps. That's right, I needed some iron for some reason. Let's keep going. Oh, that looks like a problem. Uh, it looks like a pretty big problem, actually. Maybe I'll move the core miners and switch them off when the uh, uh, accumulator charge is low enough. For now, we'll just place all of the solar panels and accumulators that we brought and see how that goes. 
Did I just run out of explosives? I think so. I think I made some over here somewhere. That's a build I don't even remember. Uh, where or where can my cliff explosives be? And why do we have so much glass? I have the vaguest recollection of why some of these things are, but they do seem pretty strange at first glance. Give to me all of those, please. Should make some more room for solar things. Whoops. Let's turn off personal logistics for the moment. Oh yeah, it probably didn't help that I made all of the uh, media defense installations charge at the same time since they use twice as much while they're charging. Now, oh, satisfaction is slowly creeping up. Considering that... Oh, they're actually losing charge? I thought they were charging up a second ago. Or is it taking them this long to lose charge? We need to get to like 150 megawatts before we've got enough. Lots are very arbitrary in their placement of things, with the ordering. Forgot to get the cliff explosives again. Wait, do we have them? Somewhere? I guess not. I'm sure I remember we've got explosives. How do I make cliff explosives? Empty barrel, explosives, grenade. Um, I could have sworn I remembered making cliff explosives here somewhere, but apparently that's not a thing. Empty barrel, explosives, grenade. Means we oh oh I forgot we automated accumulators. That means we've got lots of them, a thousand. Nice. There are several win conditions? Are we not winning already? Uh, let's go... make ourselves some cliff explosives, I suppose. Might just have to bot automate it. Empty barrel, explosives, grenades. Whoops. Empty barrel, explosives, and grenades. A 
actually. I know where that is. I don't think we have steel automated here at all. But it's not going to be difficult. Oh, we do. Yeah, no, of course we had steel. What am I saying? Uh, where's the roboports? Put that here. You know what? I'm not even going to stop it. That's fine. Pick up 16. Fantastic. While we're waiting for that, let's get some more of these. Take them over this way. Still struggling to charge these two. Well, the sun's still coming up, actually. Wait, what? Oh, the accumulator started to charge, but then the cannons fired. I see. Probably have got the construction spider to do some of these. I'd have to make a... Well, I don't actually have to make a remote. I'd do it this way. Uh, let solar... Later... You're already requesting that. Make it a hundred. And put you nice and close to those things. Why do we still have no... Oh. That would help. Also need to give it some bots. Did I run out of accumulators already? I did. But I know where to get some more. Right about here. And find where we're missing some. Once I place these, I'll go give the spider drone some construction bots. done. Fantastic. I'm actually carrying 
exactly as many bots as my robopods can use, though. There's 54 in the network over here. Whatever, I'll give you half my bots. Wait. There you go. Remote control... Over here, please. Uh, and we need some more cliff explosives. Unfortunately, we only got one. That would be two. Let's grab some speed modules. I don't think this one needs speed modules. It doesn't increase the minimum consumption. That should be enough for now. Are you not dropping accumulators, or did you already finish? Alright. Uh, I guess because I've got so many flats in my inventory, let's Put some here. And same goes for you. Gonna need some more cliff explosives. Let's go get them. There should be a few already. There's zero. Because we don't actually automate explosives. Uh, okay then. Let's do that. What does it take to make explosives? Coal, sulfur, and water. I don't see any coal nearby. Uh, we should have some over here. Not a whole lot, but nothing to scoff at either. Wait, didn't we have... I thought I remembered... Ah, there it is. Explosives. And 2.4k. Fantastic. I don't suppose this is in the robo network? It is. So all I have to do is this. But for now, I'll give it a hand. I think I went too far. Right. Since we've got like a stack of those. Oh, also, how's our power doing? It seems to be doing quite well. Mostly fully charged accumulators quite early in the day. Although the day doesn't seem to be that long. Team, that's a good start. And... did they just use all of it? Oh, there it goes. No more cliffs? Good. Uh, what's next? More accumulators, please. Get the stone away from me. Bring the spider back down here. Give it lots more accumulators.
Oh, I think I set my requests. Nope, that's fine. Uh, why don't you ask for a lot more accumulators? And can I also make these ones part of the bot network? I can indeed. All right, back we go. Actually, I'll get this little bit of purple over here first. Check on Spidey. Spidey is getting many accumulators. Many, many accumulators. Fantastic. Alright, so we are producing significantly more power than we need during the day. Um, I'd still rather see the rest of these solar panels placed anyway. But it might yet be necessary to turn off the core mining drills during the day. I mean, during the night. Just need to move them to the right a few tiles and I'll put a belt connecting this. You run out of accumulators? Nope, your bots are just tired. There's a lot for the bots to do. I suppose, actually, since the minimum consumption of core mining drills is zero, I don't actually need a power switch. What I could do instead is get these belts here to not move uh, when the accumulator charge drops below a certain amount. That would be the simplest way to do that. I could also have those uh, inserters not do anything if accumulator charge is below some arbitrary level. But that would require combinators. Are we good? Oh, that's the wrong remote. Need some cliff explosives. I think the Spidertron has a request for them. does. Why have we got no grenades? Because there's no coal.
Any construction bots heading over to fix that? Or do we not have passive provider chests in the in the system? All goes here. Grenades go here. Cliff explosives go here. And the way is zero. Why are the bots not bringing... Oh, they're bringing other things. There we go. So that is working. Fantastic. We also need to actually mark this for deconstruction. This happens sometimes. Good. Anything else? Oh wow, I completely forgot about that abandoned nuclear reactor. Anyway, before I forget, let's grab an accumulator. There actually aren't any here now. Oh, yes there are. There's a whole two of them. All right. Uh, I might just put an underground belt here. Accumulator goes here. Cannons go noisy. And we're just gonna s keep it simple and say accumulator charge has to be greater than 99%. And if that ceases to be the case, uh, coal mining's going to stop. And normally you'd build a latch for a system like this so it doesn't flicker on and off with a power switch as the accumulator charge goes above and below the threshold. But I think there's sort of a built-in latch with this, whereby because the items on the belt, because there'll be room on the belt for items, uh, the core miners will keep going for a little bit. And then once that stops, Why not turn off the power to the coal miners? They still drain when idle. They do not. They have no minimum power consumption. Um, I'll prove it right now. Turn that belt that way. And... Or miner. Nothing. Wait. Or... There we go. Uh... Core mining drill. It's I think it's actually zero, but the way this graph works, it's a bit weird. Yeah, there you go, zero watts. So I'll turn that back, and away we go. Oh, that's a good little pro tip for next time that I want to power manage the core miners. Don't need any power switches at all.
All right. Let's draw up the rest of the solar panels, and I think that's all we're ever going to need to do here. Oh, and accumulators. Um, I don't think they were building any more because we're not getting batteries. Because we're not getting copper. There's copper here, though. Problem is, the whole system is stuck because we ran out of storage for erudite. I suppose, I suppose one way you could have a system like this work consistently is just nuke it occasionally. Uh, but yeah, let's get the rest of these items. And I'll just keep placing them until I run out, and then we'll leave this planet. We also need to make... Uh, I guess we can do some of this remotely. Where's the construction spiders? Over here. Uh, we need to make another rail block. Just like these ones, but for Iridite. And... We need to turn it into ingots as well. We've already got the infrastructure to deal with everything after that. Does that rail need to go anywhere? It does not. Fantastic. Nice and easy to tidy up then. Actually, it'll be fine if I mark that for deconstruction. And rail block goes here. And then we'll start with the Ryanite as a template. If I can figure out where it goes, there we go. Don't tell me the fog of war blocked some of that. Nope, we're good. Alright, I'll leave those there for now. Spidey over here. If I'm wrong about the natural latch from blocking this bit of the belt, uh, then you could just block a bit of belt slightly further down for the same effect. Alright, that was 60 minutes ago, 24 minutes ago. Looks like the sun will be going down relatively soon. These dips after this part in the flat solar panels is because the accumulators are already fully charged. Onward. How many accumulators you got left? 70. Can I give this thing orders like this while I'm still in it? Yes, good. Fantastic. What is that? Erudite. Is this the perfect ratio solar accumulator field? 
Um, it's close if the solar panels uh, give you uh, four. If the flat solar panels give you four hundred kilowatts. Um, this is my own design for vanilla. It's pretty close to the perfect ratio, and I took that and just looked at how many kilowatts we get versus megajoules of storage. Uh, and I made this uh, flat solar panel design to be as close to that as possible, which it is. Like, it's pretty close. But the ratio does change from planet to planet, so it's almost certainly not that good here. Considering the max kilowatts for each flat solar panel is 200 this time. Uh, probably going to need a few more solar panels. Like twice as much. We do have a lot of flat solar panels left. How many... Explosives have we got? 38. Fantastic. Why is it only 38? Because there's no iron. Why is there no iron? Probably because it's just not put into storage. Rest of those and put them in the scooter. And as many as we can carry. Fantastic. I think that's the last of them. Alright. I keep needing to go to satellite view to make a remote. Now is everything on Nelvis. Pretty good, actually. I really need to get around to upgrading the robot ports for these spiders. Give them significantly more range. That way I can fire and forget fewer times in order to get the whole thing built. And over here as well, please. Actually, if I can get you to build this, Let's stop here. Change the recipe to Core Fragment Iridite. This up here. And then copy paste. I think I can get the whole thing built remotely. Oops. How many exoskeletons in that spider? Just the one. Uh, there's five in my red spider. It is my red spider. Here it is. a little bit faster. Uh, construction spiders though just have one. I'm gonna need to go back for some more stuff. 
Oh, there's already a train trying to bring... That's... that's not great. Um... Four fragment... Everdite. 32,000... And... Let's get some of this placed... for now. Change the filter. It's the third one. Uh, I'm gonna have to get this train to cancel what it's doing. I think it's already picked things up. Unfortunate. Can I get it to go drop off? here instead. I'll have to wait till it does that and then remove that. Actually, if I... if I just do this, that should be all it takes. Once it goes back to the depot, it'll reset its schedule. Alright, cool. The robot can catch up the spider with one exoskeleton, just shift click, the construction area will be fine. Okie dokie. Uh, we still got some flat solars, so let's add them over here. And I think it's about time we send the construction spiders back for resupply. And what about the military spiders? How are they doing? Not so many rockets, but other than that, they're totally fine. Let's get them to pay these guys a visit. And then back to base. That should be safe. I know you build a construction supply train for spider. Construction supply train. What do you mean by that? Noxie Way Gaming? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if I said that before. Uh, why are my bots not. Oh, they did. It's actually. It's actually only. Eight flat solar panels for each of these designs. Alright, back to Novus. Spiders are doing okay. Oh yeah, they're fine. And what about construction? That's right, they're resupplying. Oh my goodness, they are resupplying. Alright then. Need some more cliff explosives. Uh, let's go get it. Eighteen. Uh, 
Oh, and I should probably set some... Never mind. I was going to say I should set something up so that we can return home, but that's ready. Fantastic. Looks like they didn't have too much trouble. Can you tidy this up, please? And... Why not go through here? I'm glad that nature didn't come up with real-life rocket-launching spiders that walk around in packs. As far as you know, on the one planet that we've seen. Um, okay. Uh, I guess that's fine for now. <laughs> Uh, send our friend over here, place some more solar panels, and I th think it's about time to find another stream to raid. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get to the point where it's time to launch and go back home or something first, but it is about that time. I wish you could auto track the spiders, actually. I mean, we gotta finish sometime, right? Uh, Mucky, we raided yesterday. This one is Polish. Oh, they speak English as well. Shall we give them a go? been a great stream as always thanks thanks for hanging out and thank you for the uh kind words all right let's go with this person pigurum pigurum i don't see a pigurum are they doing are they streaming factorium Thanks for the stream. Thank you as well, Blue Lightning. Thanks for hanging out. Oh no, it's an emote. Oh, okay, right. All right, let's start the raid. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions, by all means, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.